trying to make it all make sense. Me. More. You. No. Podcast. So today I want to discuss something that's talked about in the final chapter of Napoleon Hill's book, Think and Grow Rich, and this is the six basic fears. While there's countless other fears that you'll face, they are either of less importance or they can be grouped under one of these six basic fears. Before we get into each of these six basic fears, I want to mention that fear is simply a state of mind and therefore it's in your control. So I'm now going to explain each of the six basic fears, as well as providing symptoms for each of the fears. So the first fear is the fear of poverty. Symptoms for the fear of poverty include indifference, which means having a lack of ambition, being lazy, as well as having a lack of initiative and enthusiasm. Another symptom is indecision which is just simply the habit of permitting others to do one's thinking, allowing others to think for you. The next symptom is doubt, which are really just excuses to cover up or justify your shortcomings and failures, as well as an overall envy for those people who are finding success in their life. The next fear is fear of criticism, which affects your initiative, your imagination, your individuality, your self-reliance, and leaves you self-conscious. So symptoms of a fear of criticism include a lack of poise, which is indicated by a lack of voice control, as well as poor posture and poor memory. The next symptom is personality, and this is indicated by struggling with decision-making, as well as the ability to express one's opinion on something. The next symptom is extravagance, which means spending money beyond one's income, spending money that you don't have, simply to, as they say, keep up with the Joneses and attempt to impress people or avoid criticism surrounding material possessions. And the last two symptoms are lack of initiative and lack of ambition. The third is fear of ill health, which is pretty self-explanatory. But symptoms include autosuggestion, which is simply taking somebody's word for something, and it's really common with doctors telling you that you have some issue or you should be prescribed some medicine rather than being honest with the basis of the problem. The next symptom is being a hypochondriac, which is when you allow your mind to believe that you're ill and even sense certain symptoms that aren't actually there, just overall thinking that you're sick when you're not. And being a hypochondriac can be so bad that it can be diagnosed as a serious mental disorder. The next symptom is lack of exercise. Another symptom is susceptibility to illness, meaning that you get ill often. The next symptom is self-coddling which is using a fake illness to get out of something or justify something. And the last symptom of this fear is intemperance, which means numbing pain with drugs or alcohol or something else. The fourth basic fear is fear of loss of a loved one. And the first symptom of this is jealousy. And the second symptom of this is fault finding, which is putting down your loved ones in a way where you're creating a superiority complex in the hopes that those people will fear abandoning you and leaving you. The fifth basic fear is fear of old age. And symptoms of this are slowing down and developing an inferiority complex, habitually speaking apologetically, as well as losing initiative, imagination, and self-reliance. And the last basic fear is fear of death, which is just habitually thinking about dying. Keep these fears in mind, as they must be understood and avoided to create a life of significance for yourself. I hope this talk makes a positive impact in your life. Please subscribe to the podcast wherever you are listening or watching it. Check out other episodes, leave a review, and follow us on social media at MoreYouKnowPod.
Also, please don't forget about our sweepstakes. Retweet a clip with the hashtag the more you know and new podcast from our Twitter for a chance to win a signed copy of my upcoming book The More You Know. Tag two friends in the comments on a clip on Instagram for a chance to win a brand new copy of Dean Graziosi's Millionaire Mindset or Ed Milet's Max Out. Like us or share a clip on Facebook for a chance to win a book I have read that highly inspired me, signed by me with an inspirational message. Again, thank you for listening as we Propel with podcasting through the more you know. I'm just trying to make it all make sense. The more you know podcast.